Oh, sorry, he's been featured on Dublin uh, City Today as well, which shot up his viewership. And um, yeah, please welcome the one and only Jacob Koopman. What's up? Hey, do I have to do this? Yeah, I guess you have to kind of. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. You, you don't get the wireless. No, I'm sorry. The wireless. I'm so sorry. We can't afford the wireless, Jacob. We only have so many. <laughs> we probably can't. That is wireless. Oh, yeah, Sorry, I mean the in ear. Yeah, the in. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you are right. You got, me, you got me on that one. Jacob's no stranger Look, to I'm, wireless I'm, I'm, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm a tech guy. So I'm like, <laughs> Look, who am I talking to? You know what I mean? I just read out <laughs> his whole thing here, his whole bio now. I yeah, know what I was Jacob's like, oh, all that's about. That's a pretty outdated bio. <laughs> yeah, <dude>. is it? Yeah. <laughs> or have you stopped the. the, the no, Twitch somebody else wrote that bio for me. Like, have uh, they? You know, I, I, I embellished a little bit of my stuff in there. I don't know if you noticed. There's a little bit of my words in I did, there as I did, well. Too. I did, did you feel yeah, that? Did yeah, you, I did you got feel that? Yeah, 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 cool, cool. <laughs> I wrote the email like, what, like three, four days ago. So You did, yeah, you did. Yeah, Thank did. God for that as yeah. well. It saved me a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> but it's great to have you uh, here. Oh man, um, thanks for having me. Yeah, great. Like, I mean, doing research on you and just checking out, like, there's so much about you online uh, from visiting your Twitch, from visiting your YouTube, uh, your Spotify. Yeah, you gotta keep those things going, man. Dude, like your website and, and your social media. Yeah. Oh my God, like, it's and, it's, and now I get to see you in the physical form as well. Here I am. Here you are. Dude, how do you stay on top of things, man? It's like a, it's like a um, massive business you got going on here. Well, because everything. I mean, you know, I started doing music like since I was twelve, and um, I was in I was in bands for like a long, long time. I was playing I was playing drums for for ten years before I actually started uh, independently or professionally singing and playing guitar. And um, yeah, man, I think like the music business has changed quite drastically. That you kind of see that you actually have to take things into your own hands. Mm. And um, I find that there's like a lot more um, control that you can actually have over your content then, mm -hmm. you know? And, but yeah, okay, there's like downsides as in, uh, you do have to learn how to, you know, you do filmography, you have to do like marketing, you have to do web design, you know? Mm. But like, you know, to me, it's kind of like second nature. I've always been really like an IT kind of guy so you're already familiar with some of the yeah obviously the technological stuff i get what you mean i mean now without the record label being the mm. main sort of dri driving force of, of musicians these right. days you have it all in your hands but it also requires you to put a lot more work outside of music almost yes, right of course yeah so and, and you seem to be settling into that really uh yeah. easily how is that for, i that's... guess the lockdown kind of gave me a chance to also stop gigging as much mm. and mm. kind of look at it from a different perspective and uh, you know focus on the things that actually matter like actually like okay build um a live stream that will that will work mm. you know such so as this this as well guys like, I, I, yeah. watched it, I watched it earlier on as well it was really really you cool you tuned in great yeah, Jacob in, in the bus, tuned in you know? yeah for sure <laughs> and uh, I guess a big big shout out to all the people that kind of yeah I can see the, the things there. yeah I see like Loads of people tuning in from your uh, the, community. The wave, the wave squad. So you know them. some of them, yeah? You know, I know, like, do, do you yeah, like the a bunch of them there. And do you know what, Jacob? They're very dedicated as well, because I think we had people waiting at like five o'clock. Yeah, like we had five people waiting. Like, that, like, that must be for Jacob. It's, it's like no? Jacob Koopman mania over there. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> section. What, what do you like um, doing most like out of, from recently, I guess? I know, I guess you started doing the Twitch and, and then you started doing more about um, sort of the chats as well on, on chats YouTube. And tunes, yeah. Chats and tunes, yeah. I had a show today. I saw that, yeah, yeah. How did that go yeah, for you? Yeah, yeah. These kids, like literally, these guys. They just probably, migrated. Yeah, it's migrated awesome. to your thing. I was like, guys, go to this link now. <laughs> That's Boom. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I do enjoy like live gigs and stuff like that yeah. still as well, of course. Um, when was the last one you played that wasn't a live stream? I mean, when have you I gone? actually played uh, an outdoor wedding. Wow. Uh, on Saturday. Oh, nice. Amazing. Because you can actually have 200 people at an outdoor yes. event. Did you do a solo or with a band? or how It did was you just do that? solo, yeah. 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 The thing is, it's like. And I also played the, the Austrian uh, gig. Yeah, that looked amazing. It was wow. really, really nice, yeah. So we got like You should check chance. that out, Colin. It's fantastic. The I know, but my, my vlogging in. skills are not... It feels like best, such, a, yeah. such an it's alien great. concept compared to... I know we got a roadmap today, but you know what I mean? Look like... And for yourself to, to come back and experience that and then to come back to here. Oh, and yeah. we're back like, you know, rattling the bars of our cages. Yeah, yeah like, come on, come on, let us play. <laughs> it let seems play. a little harsh. How was it in, in Austria? Mentioning Austria. Well, we were, were like there. in the middle of nowhere also. Mm. You were in the mountains, right? Yeah, we were like in the yeah. Alps, man. Like wow. in the middle of summer, it was 30 degrees. And um, 
It was like for an electric bike uh, world championship or something. Like wow, it was wow. the biggest competition mm. for electric bicycles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And these electric bicycles, they range from like 10,000 to 15,000 euros. Jesus. And wow. I got to try one of them. And I was like, man, these things go faster than, and they're much more. Pro producers are sitting just to hold the mic. Oh yeah, there, there we go. go. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. I'll do that. Hello, hello. <laughs> What's the crack? Lads? Is, you you can do a beatbox in there now as well. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so that no, that's amazing, dude. That, that's, it is fantastic. And and I watched a bit of your vlog as well. I think it's great to do that because people are obviously, mm. you know, you've got such a an awesome, dedicated community as well. They are interested in what you're doing, and it's not just the music, right? It's outside. I don't the music know as why well. they are, but like, well, look, you must be a likable person, man. But that's the thing, you know. I I feel like you know if you just do you and yeah. it's, it's as, as like i don't know cringy as that sounds it seems that people start to like you know just be confident in what you do and then people start following right. you know? absolutely and you're, you're saying cringy but like it's it, it is cringy it's, it's, it's uh, like one of those sayings that you just see sayings, in like american telly or something sayings you know? end up being the truth you know what i mean yeah, it's yeah, just it's sometimes yeah. hard for us to actually implement that and mm -hmm. but and that's why they become cringe maybe or cheesy because it's like they're almost it's over said, but it's yeah. not done. Exactly, like, it's not done I mean? enough, but yeah. it's said too much. And yeah. actions speak louder, right? So, I mean, but you can definitely Amen see that. that. Yeah, Colin, you were gonna, you were gonna ask something. I was just something. gonna say, I think that people latch on to, you know, when they can see a part of your personality, right. you know, not just, you know, your Spotify, when they can, you know, associate you with a certain personality, it That's creates it, yeah. a bond and, a, and an attachment, which, you know, in the days of, you know, we're not doing, traditional television anymore. Yeah, that's it. Um, so, you know, I think anyone like yourself who's able to, to do that, you know, it's a really amazing skill. And I think it's eventually something that all musicians are going to have to take on board, you know, to be able yeah, to do. So you're ahead of the curve in many ways. But that's, I, 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 you know, I'm lucky. I'm lucky that I was like, you know, given the chance to, and also with YouTube and stuff mm. like that. It's like a lot of people, I yeah. have a lot of friends who are like way more talented than I am in, in music and stuff like that. But I just feel like it's, it's um, I got lucky with, you know, sometimes algorithms and stuff come into play here mm. as well. And with, with TikTok, like I'm, it's the next big thing. Yeah. But I can't make any TikToks. Man. I'm like, I'm, I'm at that age now that I'm like, dude, I'm just, you know, just missed it. <laughs> like. Maybe you don't need to, you know, maybe that the YouTube and, and Twitch might be enough for you. You never know. And, and that it might is, just do it for you. you know? But like even say, um, I don't know a lot of labels and stuff like that. Mm. I, I do work with, you know, um, people from, from the, uh, the UK and stuff like that. And they also say like, look, just try to make as much content as you can and try mm. to be on the latest platforms. But yeah, it gets tiring you yeah. know, because new platforms keep coming. <laughs> it's almost like you have to drop one platform to take on the new one. So which one would which one yeah. would you drop? Yeah, like yeah, in, in your case, it. would you drop Twitch or, or YouTube in your case? To, I wouldn't. To, I wouldn't drop. I, I do it. I do the live stream simultaneously. You but, do restream on on both. Right? Yeah, yeah. I do restream on three. Like on oh, three, three yeah, yeah. Facebook as well, I guess, is it? Or, Facebook as yeah, well yeah. on my Facebook page. But I I think that. Like a lot of my my friends, musician friends, they come to me and they ask like, how do you do it? I think just get, you know, whatever following you have the most. Like say, if, even if it's your, you know, personal Facebook page, even though people don't even use that, and it's just like, you know, your, your family members, mm. just get them all to, to watch it, you know what yeah. I mean? You need to start somewhere, start, I guess, start, right? Start with the, the most you have. I mean, you mentioned a lot about luck. It, it, it can be a little bit of that, but ultimately mm. it is the consistency. Maybe the luck consistency is, is, is regarding the timing, thing. right? Yeah. Like as in luck might be like, you could get it in five years, you could blow up in, 10 years or 15 and maybe that, that could be luck but ultimately what you've done here yeah. is you've been consistent you know and i can see that by even going back yeah. on your youtube channel you were already posting videos and, and doing that before the pandemic you know what i mean oh so yeah no, i was doing that since that. i was like i don't know freaking 18 or something what age were you gas. when you moved to ireland i was 21. right i met you Somehow at we one did. point. We did. We met at the at a Bowie gig. <laughs> at our uh, at your Bowie at gig. My Bowie oh. gig. Yeah. Your Bowie gig. <laughs> my Bowie band's gig. Yeah. <laughs> In Fibbers. Boy band or Bowie band? Bo it was a boy. It was a boy Bowie band. Yes. Because <laughs> I remember it was really good. It was really. Thank good. you. Thank you so much. And uh, we had a mutual. Fr we have a mutual friend, right? We do. So yeah. Anna Sabate is is. Yeah. I, yeah. I ha actually met her in another gig of mine. Like. Right. In that new place in um, South William Street. I don't know what it's called exactly. Okay. Bloody Mary's. Oh yeah, that's yeah. closed now. That's gone it's now. It's gone. Bloody now. Mary's guys. Yeah. yeah, a bar that existed and doesn't exist anymore. Just it was really quick. Yeah, yeah, that it was, was quick. It was, it was a nice quick, concept. It was, it was nice a great concept. concept. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your favorite venue in in in, um, in Ireland to play or in Dublin or? I say like Whelan's probably. I Whelan's like Whelan's. Great. I was actually yeah. supposed to uh, play a gig 
next week in Wheelands. But yeah, because of the, the, the drama, now. you know? So <laughs> I was just like, I, it's for Paddy Casey. Yeah, it's to turn it oh, down. Oh yeah, no know? way. Wow. Yeah, I don't really know Paddy Casey, but what's up, Paddy Casey? He's a nice guy. No, he's great, <laughs> great musician. His, his daughter is fantastic, yeah. fantastic musician as well. So tell us a little bit about Bali then, because that's like for us, like, well, for me anyway, being so far away from uh, Malaysia and Bali, it's it's like another world, right? So tell us, what is it? what's the music like there? Like you said, you're playing drums uh, for a bit as well. Yeah, it's really, it? it's really broad, like the mm. music in Bali you know, ranges from traditional, I guess over here you also have traditional music, but mm. like there's always like new age kind of cultures and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But in Bali, it's, you have a lot of grunge and a lot of punk rock. You wouldn't think that. You wouldn't think no. that at all, you know? And Indonesia no. is re really big for metal as well. Yeah, wow. So me, I, I grew up with a lot of metal, Yeah. you know? And that's actually still the only thing that I kind of listen to. <laughs> right, you know, but that's I think that that's why the bio is a little bit outdated because like that's probably where I wanted to go. There's no mention of metal in the bio. Yeah, here. yeah, but that's the main <laughs> thing. It's like it's like um, <laughs> I have a knack for pop music, probably or like electro pop, mm -hmm. and a lot of people like would say the same. But I I take the influences from, you know, like all all these. Uh, these metal bands, I guess. Let us know in the comments section. Do you want to hear Jacob sing? Uh, I can do some screamo or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what do you think about that, guys? Um, so yeah, uh, speaking of music and speaking of your music, uh, okay. you did a couple of recordings for us uh, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And um, yeah. we're gonna play one of those songs. So sweet. Yeah. Do you know which one we're gonna play first? No, I don't know. Just play "Way to the Wave" at the end. We actually are gonna do that. Isn't yeah, that crazy? because that's you, you'll see your your. I saw your, waves. Uh, yeah, you'll I, see I, your I chat go like so <laughs> spammed with so waves. So, is there an anchor emoji? Because anchor is the that's next one. That's also there. Yeah, you, Deadly. They, they'll know what to do. Okay, guys, chat. You know what to do, and uh, this song is called "Anchor." Enjoy. So, uh, thanks for all the anchors in the chat. That's pretty awesome, man. They just they just do they, that. They lights up the light. You know. It just lights the up lights like up. Col <laughs> like a Christmas tree. Colin was saying it's like um, it's like lighters. The old, like how we used to do it yeah. back in the day when gigs were gigs. And now we, I mean, wait we for had gigs. to make we had to make a little bit of normalcy with the with Absolutely. the with the gigs with the you know, live streaming and, and the lack so, of gigs and stuff. Yeah, there yeah. you go. From lighters to cell phones to emojis. To emojis. Next? <laughs> brain implants, I don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid to know what's next, guys. Me too. Yeah. Uh, so you collaborated uh, with Ryan uh, Shockness on the... Oh, yeah, with the... Yeah, um, with, on that one, on yeah. Anchor and like the first EP, actually. Yeah. He, he kind of got me to, to do the whole... I, I got enough courage at one point in my life that I was like, look, these are the songs I wrote. I want them out. You yeah. know, I want to sing them. Blah, blah blah, cause you know, I didn't I didn't mind being behind drums either. I, I really enjoyed that as well. Tell us a little <laughs> bit about that, cause transitioning from like you're being behind the band to then being in the front. I mean, it's yeah. a big jump, right? So, it is, but that's the thing. I do. I still am not as confident as like a front man, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, I guess, but you know, we'll get there. Do you, you have a, an image in yourself of what is a confident yeah, front man? Yeah, Who yeah. is that? Who is it? Like, what kind of artist? Who's confident? I mean, you can. I think it was close to your heart, let's say. Sh Shobsey said uh, uh, Queen mm. before, right? What's his name? Freddie, Freddie Mercury. Mercury yeah. He's very great. He's yeah. the best. Would you man. want to do something like that? Where oh, you're yeah, controlling yeah, yeah. a crowd like with, with your voice? For sure, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I guess if I were to look closer, it would be like kind of uh, like Rex Orange County. Okay. You know him? No. no I okay. So. Yeah. Incubus, I guess. Yeah, I oh mean, yeah, like, yeah. I was sure. literally just yeah. about to say you have a kind of a Brandon Boyd vibe about you, if you know what I mean. Nah, that's, that's, Brandon is very. That's Brandon who I looked up to, cool, like my, like, my but whole but life. Also, still a fantastic frontman. Mm, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Good. Yeah. So guys, let us know in the comment section as well if you have any questions. This is, of course, the Q&A section. We'll, have, we'll keep having a chat anyway, just to keep the flow going. Mm. But, um, David likes time, turtles. Sorry. Do I like turtles? No, he likes oh, oh, sorry, Dave Duggan. Yes, he does. He likes a lot of things, uh, and some of them are worrisome. Uh, but we allow him to just uh, do his thing in the comments section from time to time. But guys, yeah, do uh, let us know uh, if you have any questions for Jacob. Uh, Jacob, what's the most common thing people ask you actually on your streams? These are a common question that always oh, comes I up. Oh, dude, I don't even know. What's the most frequently asked question? Yeah, what's the FAQ. what's the biggest FAQ for you for Jacob Koopman? If you write, when are you gonna sing with Ali Sherlock next? Oh, is that it? Is it? <laughs> oh God. Okay. Okay. So have you sang? You've sang with Ali Sherlock before? Uh, yeah. You know, no, I'm just stuff? like literally jamming on the street, you know, and um, you know with Ali Sherlock, like one one video can hit, reach like a million overnight. Mm. So it's like, I guess a lot of people would be asking me then, you yeah. know. Um, 
But yeah, I have sang with her uh, many a times. Yeah. yeah, and and so you was obviously all busk. So you got Ali, you got mm. Sai Skelly as well. Sai Skelly as well. Yeah. As well. Who decides? Brilliant. How do you decide between yourselves? Like who plays where on the street, or how does that work? Yeah, or is it just that's like a, that's an interesting question. Actually, that's a question that is very uh, asked uh, frequently. Um, first come, first serve. Like you know, Grafton Street as an hour. Uh, each like you know like you come to a spot and you have to be 50 meters away from the others right and uh, you know if you're there the, the the time starts from 11 till 11 at night so 11 a.m. wait 11 what is it 11 a.m. till 11 yeah, p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the time that you mm -hmm. can busk but yeah you just have to kind of be there first and yeah you do your hour and then somebody Does somebody else say like hey do you know what i'd like to busk at the top of ground yeah it's, it's quite it's quite nice like i think that's what the reason why a lot more of the the youth is coming out you know like the, the kids and stuff like that because it's just um what do you call it um organized yeah and there's like a community in itself yeah, right it's a separate community itself, but like say like busking in other places i've had it where you literally have to be like look i'm playing here mm. in two hours you have to leave you yeah, know? yeah. So it's you have to be like, put your foot down sometimes. Yeah, it but, used to be like that in Dublin as well. Yeah, That's I, when I first arrived. Yeah. We have a few questions in. Uh, Brown-eyed squirrel, loving the name. <laughs> uh, what do you like most about your current project, and where do you see yourself in ten years? Man, I, 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 I my mother <laughs> tells me to to, to <laughs> do that plan, the ten-year plan. Oh thing. yeah. <laughs> um, what do I like about my current projects? Yes. Yeah. What do I like about it? What do you like most about them? Well, I, I kind of pour what I like into my projects, so it's kind of mm. like a... It's a backward question. It's a backward question. process. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Okay, and uh, do you see yourself... What about like your five-year plan? Do you have mm. something with music? Do you envision something, even like next year or something? Is there so anything new on the horizon? I'm thinking about basing myself back in Bali soon. Really? Why yeah. is that? Why is that? Uh, because I don't have to be here for the winter. Ah. <laughs> You're making me that jealous. Yeah, I just actually don't have to be here for the winter, especially when the live streams are going well. Mm. I can do like say four months over there, five months in mm. Bali, and then come here, book all the gigs. You know, I have my booking agent do all the gigs mm -hmm. for the summertime. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, it must be terrible busking in the winter time oh, in Ireland, right? Yeah, I, that's why I usually go like every January to, to March. Uh, no, two months, January, February. Yeah, in, in Bali anyway to visit my family and stuff. Like Brilliant. That. And, and yeah, but I got I haven't got the chance to uh, because of COVID now. And Do you know, speaking of that, I, I would, when I read your bio, uh, I was immediately you know because we were talking to Sive Skelly and she said that there was something special about that about the Irish you know busking community mm. as well. And I just was like you know you've come from Bali, you've obviously travelled around you know busking, and I wanted to ask you what made you know you that decide transition. to spend eight years in Ireland. Yeah, man. I mean. <laughs> It's the market. It's yeah. the weather. It's the, it's the weather. <laughs> Has it's, to be the weather. It's the women. <laughs> the weather, the women, the three W's. What's the other? The water. The water. The, water. Women, the, water. the lovely the water. water. <laughs> Guys, uh, so we have a few more questions I just want to throw in here, if that's okay, just, just for our Q&A section no before we get into it. So who are your biggest? Patrick Strudel? Strudel. Patrick Strudel, yeah, we yeah. know him. Yeah. So who are your biggest musical influences? Yeah, I, I said it's probably Incubus. Like, and, Incubus uh, would be. You know, but like, to be honest, like if, if I were to translate it into the music that I'm making now, I like like Imogen Heap, Imogen Heap. Mm -hmm. How do you even like pronounce that? Yeah, Imogen. Yeah, Imogen. Imogen. Yeah. I would have pronounced it Imogen, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, what's, what's that song? <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's, you know? I don't know. I, don't know. Oh, I was trying man. to, I was pretending that I knew it. I heard Teardrop by Massive Teardrop. Attack. Yeah, there oh, we go. I was <laughs> thinking like, da, 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 da. Oh, man, you're all about the EDM, that's like dance, my dance songs. There. No, I'm about everything. <laughs> Okay. Um, but okay, so are you working, Patrick's also asking, are you working on a new single? Yes, I'm actually due to record tomorrow, we're going to finish it up and uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to feature Neolithic. Ooh, who, awesome. Very cool, who's yeah, on our show two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. two weeks ago. Yeah. Fantastic, it's that's gonna, great. A few people are asking about the single actually, so that you might have informed, we, we, did you kind of let your community know already I, a little bit about yeah, it? I played it earlier on a little bit. Cool. And, uh, awesome. Yeah, I guess people... Fantastic. So look, we're going to get that ball rolling. Yeah, well, that's great. That's that's awesome. And I loved your pr previous singles. Fantastic. Ego yeah. being the, the latest one. Fantastic. Um, a lot of touch of different artists as well and influences as well. Mm. Uh, one of your songs, I can't bloody think of it. Very Depeche Mode as well. Um, it was, I think it was 
four can't, releases ago. Can't get enough. Yes, yeah. brilliant, excellent track Thank as well. Um, so some fantastic. Uh, Big shout out to yeah. my producer, of course. Yeah. yeah, do you have the same producer throughout the songs? Or, or yeah, the last, the last four, and even this two coming out is uh, with Lantern Head sixty four is his name. Awesome. It's because he's got red hair and, and that's, <laughs> that's like <laughs> he his, glows at night. Yeah, for you, his, he, uh, his mate called him that when he was like twelve or something. Guiding the light yeah. for you <laughs> musically. So um, yeah, let's do our fun segment then. And, what is um, oh man. What is yeah. Yeah, I know, the pressure, the <laughs> stress. This, this, absolutely. We've stopped telling our artists about the fun segment. I like it. Um, and Let's do it. We want to keep it on the spot. But this one is very commonly known as Who's That Pokemon? Keto, oh, okay. bring it up. Here we go. Are you good at this? What? Are you good at this? I thought I was, but then I saw a few. And I was like, oh, yeah. it's an absolute Pokemon. No. Okay, so you would know. It's well, I, I, I would be in trouble if I don't. We're gonna find out. <laughs> We're gonna find out. Go Zach. Got the first one. Go Zach. <laughs> that Pokemon. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> and that's a cut. Are you a big Pokemon fan? Yeah, yeah. No, I still, I still play Pokemon here. What's your favorite? Pokemon generation or gen or what is I it? I would say the first two. Like. The first two. Yeah. Cool. I don't cool. know. I don't know their names of like. There's like regions, Kanto region, and then yeah. there's the, I don't know. Mm -hmm. what the yeah. right That's or, not on the test today, anyway. Okay. So we're lucky. I only watched the first thing, but it used to always be on TV at weird times. So I always like skipped yeah. episodes mm -hmm. and then saw the same episode twice, and I could never watch them after another. Mm -hmm. But I think they started showing them on Netflix now. They have so loads, just yeah. But it's funny because now we're like I don't know, thirty and over or whatever. Yeah, it's a bit weird, maybe. Uh, um, <clears throat> I've actually started watching it in Japanese, which is uh, which is. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah which yeah. is a strange thing, you know. Like obviously, Ash, subbed, Ash not is, dubbed. Yeah, Ash yeah. is Satoshi, and you know, yeah. kind of things like that. They kind of just throw my partner off a little bit. And he's like, yeah. oh, even some Pokemon have different names. Pokemon fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's awesome. So I guess we're going to uh, wait for another bit. Are we? Till we launch okay. that up, Kito? We'll, we'll, we'll wait another few minutes. Well, good things comes to those who wish. That's it. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's, and that's from Dragon Ball as well. Somebody said that. Which first thing? The good, good things, things come to those who win. That's what, that's what I learned that saying from Dragon Ooh, Ball. Dragon man. Ball. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Are you a Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon yeah, Ball I'm, I'm Super? I'm Dragon Ball Z. Like Dragon Ball Z guy. Okay, yeah, I absolutely. That. I never got into it, actually. Really? Yeah. I kind of feel left out. I feel like I should and have. These are really. like Sunday things. You, you'd probably get like, what, Nickelodeon here and stuff yes. like that. Yes, yeah, yes. We, yeah, like in Indonesia, get all mm. the Japanese things. We had. Well, that's pretty awesome. We it's had a pretty channel called Toonami here. and So at 530 in the evening, it was Dragon Ball mm. Z time, and you had to have your homework done, or else you weren't watching yeah, it. Yeah, well, there you go. You know. <laughs> and that was like, um, 2000, 2001, like, yeah. that was a lot, one of the first proper right. animes. We, we got that, and we got, um, oh my goodness, Gundam Wing. Gundam Wing. Uh, yeah, and they were both yeah, on yeah. it. Those that the, I didn't, I never got into Gundam, it was a bit, like, just the names were very difficult. It's also it's very, so very political for, like, oh. a 12-year-old. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I guess we're going to go uh, to live into Who's That Pokemon, guys. I think we got to go. we go. Let's hope it works. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's, uh, that's easy. Oh, who, who's answering this? I guess we're going to give you the uh, uh, Benefit honors. of the doubt? Yes. <laughs> that's Pikachu, of course. That's Pikachu. That was a bit easy, Keto, now. <laughs> yeah, it's there. the first one. It's Pikachu. the first one. Right, Pikachu. It's the litmus test, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But look at like the, the design compared to now, like, you know? It's like the really old one. Yeah, it's this Hawaii. is all very low uh, <laughs> quality graphics as well, I think. Who's that you know, right. Is that me? Uh, that's wheezing, right? Or is the coughing or wheezing oh, it's, now? It's wheezing. It's coughing. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> my bad. Uh, it's been a while, guys. It's been a while. Who's that? Pokemon? All right, call it. Mm. Yeah, we can take whichever. Oh, Metapod. Yeah, okay, it's Jacob Koopman versus Transmission TV. Let's go. <laughs> All right, fair that's enough. That's Metapod. Metapod. Yeah, I th yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. I knew that. It's Metapod. Such a Metapod. boring Pokemon. Metapod, you know, Metapod kind God. of has the same side profile as Yuko's actually. Does he? Thanks very much. <laughs> Appreciate that. Way to make me feel confident on my own show. Listen, Metapod is the handsome Jesus, Pokemon. That's a, this is the last show you're going to be on, by the way, after that <laughs> outburst. I'll have you know. Right, let's go next. Let's see what else is. Guys, by the way, in the comments section, feel free to uh, take part in this as well. Uh, if you are familiar with uh, Pokemon, we're doing the classic original Pokemon. Originals. The yes. originals. The best. The most expensive. Colin, your your belt pack is, is causing a little bit of issues there, okay. so just keep, just be mindful of it. Just I be will careful. Indeed. I and, will uh, read just my technology uh, <laughs> things, I guess. Uh, so yeah, let's go next. Let's see who, who this is. That oh, that's too easy. Charmander, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Let's just move on. Let's move on for this, please, please. 
I'm gonna give that to yourself anyway. I have a, I have a, 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 a Charmander. Charmander doll that when you squeeze his tail, he just roars. It's Charmander! Charmander! Charmander. Charmander. Charmander is cute. All right, which one would you pick out of the three? Or, well, technically for Pikachu, but which out of the three original? Who's that Pokemon? All right, that's you. Cubone. That was a bit, that could have been a tricky one. It could be Marowak. Yeah. It could be Marowak. No, it, it, I don't think so. Marowak has the boomerang, right? So does he. He has the bone. bone. Yeah, they both have oh, it. Marowak, both bones. Marowak is ah. the evolution. Yes. yes. <laughs> Look, I just know these things. You know, I, they know it's, it's great. I know it as the, the little one with the skull Keto? and the bone thing. Yeah, yeah, he's the little one. Skull <laughs> and the bone. It's Q-Bone. It's Q-Bone. Q -bone. Q -bone. Bound, bound. Absolutely ace in this, Jacob. Yeah. I wonder what he's like without the skull on his face. Or is it attached? He probably looks like a Charmander. Maybe. Didn't, didn't yeah. they have an episode where they found the... Or maybe it was one of the new ones and got the head stuck in the... In oh, the, yeah. In the, in the thing. I think it is. Sad I times. Know. Sad times. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, it's, it's something that's happened to all of us. Yeah, we all, we all have our heads stuck in Jam something. Jars, pumpkins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next, uh, let's see what I'm we have next. Go there, really. You guys know this one. <laughs> oh my god. My god oh my god. Nose. Colin. Ah, oh, Jesus. Um, uh, uh. Vine bloom or something? Almost, you almost got it actually. Mm. Vine plume? I don't know this one. It's the, it's I don't the one before. One. Oh, right. Uh, it's the, uh, it's got a red top, wasn't it? And, and there was an episode where there was a fuckload of them. Yeah, and they're really smelly or something. Yeah, they yeah, smell yeah. Bad he's got, he's got, he's got like the what's that? What's that um, smelly pollen head? Pollen head thing, flowery the flower thing. Head, Ma man, mandagora. Jeez, that, I don't know. That's is that what it's called? That sounds. I'm very just gonna go with pollen fancy. head. It just sounds pollen, pollen, head. Head. pollen head. It's gloom. It's gloom. Ooh, gloom. <laughs> very drooly, very drooly <laughs> Pokemon there. Okay. Who's that Pokemon? Uh, that's easy. easy. That's Colin, I'll give you that one. I've I, 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 I got again, I was gonna say, Mr. Muck. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's pretty, Mr. Muck is actually that's probably pretty, right. That's pretty much minus the Mr. Isn't uh, it Muck? It's, it's Muck. Muck. Yeah. M-U-C. It's Muck. Yeah. Oh. Hurrah. I thought it was with a C. That's the one that looks like me now, cause like you look like Metapod, I look Could like be. Muck. Cause, ah, uh, oh, here, I'm not even gonna get into this, forget it. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> what you're thinking. No, because, because there was a, what was that, uh, Arbok is yeah, Cobra like backwards. Yeah, it's the other way around. I was just like, if oh, it's Jesus. gonna be with a C, dude. <laughs> you dirty, dirty I, bastard. I saw it And on, the more you look at that I image, the more it makes sense. <laughs> right, it's, it's social media that's causing this to me. Right, let's go next. Right. So what happens when you lock him up? Who's that Pokemon? Okay. I, guys, this is too easy. Oh, that oh, is sick. Jesse's is pet. That's Jesse's Pokemon. Jess, Jesse's. Wish that out. Jane's. Jesse's pet. Jane's Pokemon. Jesse's pet. <laughs> right? It's slow. Poke. Poke. No, man, it's the evolution. It's slow bro. bro. Oh, slow bro. Slow bro. Fuck's <laughs> sake. Because he got bitten by a bleeding shell. <laughs> yeah, he got bitten by Shelder. He's even slower. Is Shelder a Pokemon in itself? Yeah. Who's that Pokemon? Oh. Oyster. All right, go on, tell us. That's uh, one of my favorite ones. That's uh, Rai. Oh, I forgot his name. Oh! <laughs> Shut down! <laughs> it's Rai Rhydon. No, but it's Rhyhorn. Okay. Oh! All right. Like Rhydon. We'll, we'll, like we'll, we'll, okay, okay. <laughs> we'll give you that. We'll give you that. Okay, okay. We'll give you that because we're very generous on this show, Jacob. Yes. We don't beat people down when they don't know something. Okay, okay. okay. I'll, stop, I'll stop being too good okay. for this. All right, I'll stop it. <laughs> Okay, Who's this is for you guys. Oh, that is the Geodude. No? Uh, it's Polygon. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Polygon. They all kind of sound like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's Porygon. Porygon. Oh, I did it wrong. It's okay, no. It's what still, Geodude it's still, is sorry, rocks, I right? Geodude L's, is rock. Or is like an L. Like but you, you, have, you have somebody over Neil there. Neil points for you, Dave. Fine. Yeah, no, Fine. but you, yeah, no you, had, you, had, you had him talking to you. Well, in Keith those ears. minus points because he put the thing up really late as well, anyway, so. <laughs> Listen, I've been watching all of this stuff in Japanese. I don't know the English names of these people. Right, right, right. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it was sub, not dubbed. I think that's a terrible excuse, Colin, but anyway, you can say them in Japanese there. That was really fun. Um, yeah. Are we finished? Oh, we've got a few oh, more. Okay. Go. That Pokemon! Um, Wiggly Tough. No, that's Jiggly. No, what? Clefairy. Oh, it's Clefairy, you're right. The egg. There's the egg in the back. Man, I realise that I'm a, I'm a big nerd. Allah but it's okay. Oh, 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 
Shots fired. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> what the fuck? Sting in the tail at the end there. What was that? I wasn't even <laughs> expecting that. I, well, I swear I had Where nothing to do with that. Where did that come from? He just tricked us as trolls. Keith out. <laughs> Keith out you. Oh you. That's what you get. <laughs> that was a good one. I got one more just for you, Dave, as well, actually. Love it. Can't got one wait more just for you. I really can't wait for this one. Seriously, look at my face. Who's that Pokemon? Oh, God. Mm. Is he going to mess it up? He's oh, he messed it up. Messing. Make oh. a guess. Make a guess. Who do you think it is? I don't know. It's my face zoomed in or something stupid like that. Oh, You're not that stupid. wrong, actually. Stupid. I hope it's not another part stupid. of my body. It's Jiggy Ricky of Danke. <laughs> that is brilliant. Man, that is brilliant. Papali, papali, it's Russian? I, I'd somewhere? say it has to be some kind of Slavic region. Jacob, yeah. I don't know if you're yeah. aware, but, but this, this type of video will make uh, Kozak extremely happy. It, do, it reminds me of my hometown. Yeah, are you, are you like Slav as well? I mean, my parents are Polish, but let's not get into it. Oh, okay, it's okay. all about you today, <laughs> those, those yeah, are really, Mr. Koopman. No, those are really funny. I, they're good. They're good. Actually, that was from um, that's from that metal uh, thing. That that shot, isn't it? Uh, that scene there. Uh, what's it called? I'll I'll I'll, I'll send You'll it to you later. Yeah. I can't think of it right now. Uh, Jacob, listen. Uh, thanks so much for popping onto the show. Thanks for Thank playing you. that fun segment with a bit of crack. Absolutely. Yeah. Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you guys absolutely cool. nailed it. Well, thanks Still very much. Did. We almost didn't nail it. We all, the whole place nearly fell apart on us, uh, but we managed to just hold it up. Uh, tell us, uh, is there anything uh, you'd like to mention before we let you go, before we love you and leave you? Is there anything you coming you up um, that um, you'd like to announce? Uh, I know well, some people are Yeah, we, know we're, we're going to start, you know, kind of organizing gigs soon since we've got the roadmap. Yes. We, uh, do you have the roadmap there, Colin? Where's the roadmap? Oh, we don't know where it is. I think oh, we it's don't have the back. roadmap. I give it back to the minister. All good. Okay. <laughs> it's oh, over there. Oh, there's a roadmap. Yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna, yeah. There we go. I love that. Actually, I was watching it earlier on. Yeah. Like, this is it. This is the, the oldest roadmap, roadmap in, in in Irish history. Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, yeah, no. Okay, gigs are coming soon. I'm gonna announce them probably for next year. To be cool. fair. Awesome. Cool. Cool. Uh, there might be some before, but um, we have two singles coming out before the end of the year. Awesome. One probably being a month and a half from now. Uh, that's featuring Neo, and it's we don't know the name yet. Cool. It's probably gonna be gonna be called Tell Me. Right, you're giving but, us a lot uh, of information here. Yeah. This is great. It's okay. Yeah, it's exclusive, exclusive for you guys. Love us. Yeah. Exclusive we like for it. Transmission TV. There you go, there guys. You go. There you and go. then and then you've got another single coming out after that. You're saying which is a bit more pop punk. My roots. Cool. Like, yeah, All right. Yeah, so this yeah. will be very different to what you've already released. It's similar enough. But, okay. You know, we can we can always add in a few flares here and there with yeah. like music nowadays. So as and long as it's like. All, um, I don't know, like all mixed in very well. As long as you look the same, it's yeah, the same yeah, person yeah, yeah, yeah. singing it. it. Yeah. As long as the image is the same, <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You I know? love it. Yeah. And, and then you're going, you're planning to go to Bali then? Yeah, I'm going to go in January. Uh, I'm going to go and find a house to rent. Brilliant. And we'll see where it goes from there. And tell awesome. us, what are you looking forward to the most uh, upon visiting Bali? What, what's some of the things? I don't well, know, for family, me, yeah. And for me, it's more like family, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'd love to go and surf and stuff like that, mm. you know, and not, not think about wetsuits. And, <laughs> and it's going to be roasting there, right? It's gonna be really yeah, warm. it's always roasting there, yeah. man. Yeah. And what kind of, what's your favorite, like, do you, do you miss, like, a home uh, meals? Yes, or, I mean, the meals food, What's kind of the well. food, like, over there? Give I mean, I don't miss the, the Bali belly that we get, like, <laughs> because I don't get used to it sometimes, you know, like, being here for, for, like, a whole year and then coming back, like, my stomach doesn't get used to that. Right. We you get know. the Bally Belly here as well, but it's the Bally Firma Belly. Yeah. Bally Firma Belly. Jerry's Belly. He's Bally Firma. It's the bag of chips and the pints, isn't it? Basically. They always, that's, they, that's always the. It's like I'm from Bali, and then they're like, yeah, Bally Firma. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ballier. Ballier. I actually used to live in Bally Firma. That's funny. That's um, crazy. Right. <laughs> we're here. It's a coincidence and a half. So that's awesome, brother. Listen, best of luck with your release. Best Thank of you. luck with your trip. And best of luck with your, with your gigs. And I have to say, it's just such a pleasure to have you here and meet you physically. It's so nice to actually meet Absolutely. musicians yes. physically. And not having to do this all through oh, yeah. Zoom. My yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. Absolute Jesus pleasure. Christ, Kozak beautiful. and Max. Max. Emilian. Yeah. Maximilian. <laughs> well, that's my superhero. I man. love it. I love <laughs> it. <laughs> awesome, brother. So, guys, we're going to uh, leave you. We're going to let you go. Uh, we're going to be back as well anyway. We're going to be back with a little bit of a chat. We're going to announce who our Patreon uh, winner is as well. So, before I let you go as well, just like, give us a little bit of information on that. Every artist has graciously uh, recorded a secret song. So, I think we've, we're episode 10. So, we've had two, so we have 20 secret songs up on our Patreon now, which is 
really awesome. Uh, so the artists have wonderfully uh, allowed us to, to and, and yourself, Jacob, as well. Mm. Thank you so much for allowing us to have that. So if you guys want to check more about that, um, it's the link is in our bio. The link to Jacob, of course, is in our bio too. The link to anything that we speak about today is in the bio. Uh, so do check that, or in the description. So do check that out and um, do like and share and subscribe, of course, as well, guys, if you're new. We do this every two weeks and we're promoting the independent art scene here in Ireland, which we love so much. And uh, we are all pretty much part of it here. You know, Colin's in his own band as well. I'm in, the, in, in a couple of bands. We've got the guys in Tsunami Studios that record a lot of musicians. So we're all uh, part of it, uh, part and parcel, as they say. So um, yeah, it'd be great if you guys were interested in supporting us. So without further ado, we're going to be playing, um, is that what you wanted? Is that and what you wanted? Oh, that's really We're going to play song. that. We love it. And then we're going to finish on oh, Weight it, of the Wave. You. So yes. we've been with Jacob Coopin, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. We're going to be back once again after this, uh, these wonderful performances by Jacob. So enjoy. Chat to you very soon. <laughs>